Hey, hey, America. How's it going? This is Tali from rawnakedfood.com. Today I'm going to show you a cool um, recipe to make an easy, raw, vegan, organic juice. Now here we're going to use the head of whole broccoli. And what we're going to do is we're going to juice not just um, the good part of the broccoli, but also the stems so you get some liquid. Because that's where a lot of the nutrients are. Uh, and we're going to also juice uh, an apple organic, locally grown, and a clove of garlic, and like a, I would say a quarter of an inch piece of jalapeno. So we're going to get that started. We're going to start juicing right now. All right. The reason I chose these is simply because of their, uh, they're just really good foods to eat in general. I'm trying to balance my camera here very bad at this. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Perfection comes when you least expect it. So, this is the first time I'm making this, so let's try it. So, I didn't get too much juice from the broccoli. That was because I just juiced the head. Now I'm going to juice the stem. Part of the broccoli, and we're probably gonna get a lot of liquid. Yep, we got a lot of liquid from that one. So, what you want to look for when you juice broccoli is you want to look for um, juicing the stems too, not just the head. By doing su such a thing, you'll get a lot of the green liquid, which is great. Another thing you'd be surprised of is when you juice a jalapeno or when you juice a garlic, you actually get a lot of liquid from it. So here's one clone of garlic, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to juice it right now. And you'll see that we got like a couple, a couple drops of liquid, which are very, which is very potent for garlic. So it gives it that garlicky, savory. jalapeno here. We're also going to get a lot of liquid from that. I juice it with the seeds because the seeds will get captured, will get captured uh, in the extraction process. <laughs> Whoa, that's a tough one. You got to be careful when you juice jalapenos because they can, uh, <coughs> they can mace you in their face with uh, pepper. <coughs> it's very strong. It's going to be a really awesome juice here. I'm crazy and extreme. I'm going to juice more jalapeno. So I'm going to take another quarter and I'm going to put it in. Because I like the spiciness in my smoothies and also because of the health benefits. sure we got about eight ounces here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our green juice. Prop this here. Okay. That's a bad one. I'm gonna prop her here. Okay, this is better. As you can see I have my slotted spoon. I have my drink here. And I'm gonna just pour it in there slowly. You want to do this so you can capture any impurities or pulp that got through the process. Here we go. Now this is very potent, as you can see. That's about 8 ounces of liquid. Um, so that's juice 
from one whole, well, it was like half of a broccoli head, like uh, half an apple, half a jalapeno, and a clove of garlic. Now, I never did this, I never did this juice before, but I'm going to try it out. All right. Wow. That is so good. You know what? Sometimes I say to myself, you vote down yourself this time, Tali. And with this juice, I really did. It's really good. Sometimes perfection comes when you least expect it. Let that be the lesson that you will take home today. And also, go to my website, rawnakedfood.com, and sign up because my new book is coming out soon. recipes and all these cool uh, things so you're gonna in, be in for a treat and follow me on uh, on this YouTube channel which is my raw food cook channel and you're gonna see some more cool recipes like breads desserts savory stuff raw chips crazy things not just juicing but for now we're gonna juice because that's how we do it here awesome I'll talk to you later have a great day